Nchimunya Munyama, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you so much. You are on the cutting edge of uh, technology. You're trying to make sure that uh, the farmers uh, in that uh, part of the world uh, use uh, technology to add value to their crops and uh, you are making a difference. What is it that uh, you've been able to do up to this point? The story comes in a way that I look at the way I have been brought up in a farming environment where we we didn't have enough water for our plants. Of course, the country has so many uh, uh, rivers and dams. We don't manage our water efficiently. So I was like, you know what? What if we create a system that understands the needs of the plants and the farmers? So that was the birth of the innovation called the MetaGrow that helps farmers manage the resources, water, and also manage the land to uh, grow their plants on. So it uses artificial intelligence to either calculate how much water the plants need and also how much fertilizers uh, the plants need as well. When you talk about uh, farming, especially uh, where you are, most people do subsistence farming. They don't do commercial farming. And yes. those people engaged in subsistence farming uh, are not uh, maybe savvy with the kind of technology that you're talking about. How many people have access uh, to that artificial intelligence or can figure out how to use uh, that technology that uh, you're putting in place? The beauty about this innovation is that it's not using conventional means. Talk about uh, uh, computer systems, expensive irrigation systems. So with just a smartphone or any other small phone without access to internet can have this innovation right in their hands. So we, they can have control over their system by either sending an SMS to say pump on, pump off, or they can have direct access to the variables around their farm. Talk about soil moisture, humidity. So the farmer is aware of what is going around in his field, and from that it can easily help him, even without access to you know, big computers, big uh, uh, smartphones, or with just a simple phone, they have access to internet. The rural farmers who don't have access to that uh, internet, uh, or who don't have access to those phones, but they want to take advantage of uh, what you're presenting to them, how can they do it? Okay, so there is actually what we call the Meta Kit. It's a simple and very efficient uh, device that has attached to a simple screen that they can just uh, plug in or stick into their soils. Of course, it's an on-site. You don't have to have a phone. It will just show you the readings on on the screen about what's happening on, on, you know, on the plants. So basically, we are targeting uh, small-scale farmers, uh, commercial farmers, and those who just love farming and you know, small gardens, just as to empower them to have that chance to also grow their own food. How did you get started? The initial idea came in when I was just a little boy trying to grow food. I was this inquisitive young boy, curious young boy. I was, I was trying to solve my grandfather's problem of water management. So I was like, you know, we are wasting so much water on just a small piece of land. What if I can create something that understands the needs of the farmer and my grandfather as well? So I came up with this idea, okay, what if we can create something that doesn't understand not, not, not only understand the needs of the farmer, but also the plants. So I signed up for a simple course in programming. I guess that was the beginning of, of everything. And from that on point, I turned the hobby of just planting crops and trying to grow my own food into a real passion to actually make a change in this sector of agriculture. Where do you see uh, uh, net grow going in the next five years? Export grow is something huge. As a social enterprise, I see it to be some impactful uh, initiative that not only provides a service to the people in terms of agriculture, but also in the industry of forestry, uh, uh, forest fire detection, uh, smart agriculture, and also the part of impact on the youths in terms of teaching them coding skills, teaching them skills about design, electronics. So I see let us grow in the next five years as this tech giant that has impact for the youth and on the economy of our country and ultimately Africa at large.